entry one is the main start to the piece, but there are four simple gestures in this entry two. And after either one, two, three, or all four of them, you can then slip into entry one. Obviously, if you play all four, then you've got to go to entry one, but you have the opportunity to play one, two, or three simple upbeat entries. So I'll play all four and then go to entry one. I've got this sound that I can say over that one. And that one's in long to channel. So I can I can really animate this one. Or from a compositional point of view, I can have a small amount of this one. Or I could actually make it the most prominent feature. Probably wouldn't want to do that, but I need to make a careful balance. So you're hearing just channels one and two right now of the eight channel mix, but that's pulsing around. And then there's some panning, but it's in eight channels and it's covering the space. It could be quite dramatic here. it's difficult to know which sounds you're controlling yeah. when it's very yeah. obvious yeah. like one is very active yeah. and one is a pad then you know which one is, is controlling but when the mix was more half and half rather than solo and backing it was more fun to figure out what you're changing and you really are changing the sound I'm trying to make the performance practice a little bit more interpretative so that a performer can come in and say, OK, I want to choose this sound, go to this one, go to this one, go to this one. And then I want to balance it and I will rehearse it. Um, I had to do a lot of rehearsal and it was my own piece. My analogy is to a uh, public garden that I saw being built at the Hepworth Gallery by Tom Stewart Smith, where you see a number of different entrances, um, circular walks, walks that can be a long distance, walks that go from one exit to the next, um, and you can kind of find your own route. And that influenced the way I chose to make this piece called Roots. Thank you. 